Here we go again, boys, at the start of another Ultimate Team Journeyman. What is up, you guys? It is Game Nut here, and welcome to the beginning of our Madden 23 Ultimate Team Series, man. I am super excited to be back, man. I hope you guys missed me. You all should have known I was going to find my way back around here once again once we had a new Madden release, and I, I could not be more excited again, like I said. So without any time to waste, man, we are jumping straight into Ultimate Team here. I am going to change up the series a tiny bit from what we've done in the past in efforts to be able to get some more videos out for you guys this year in the series. But uh, without further ado, of course let's go ahead and jump into our first episode this year of madden 23 ultimate team so as you guys are seeing immediately upon entering i don't even know what i did but i was immediately granted level three and that came with 10,000 coins we got our coach john madden and to my surprise we were even given our rookie premiere tokens already i was honestly expecting uh, at least like a week delay before ea gave those to us but as we're checking out the lineup of course you guys are seeing it from day one we have nothing but silvers sitting at a 68 overall but it is time to start assembling that team first thing first of course we are going to use those rookie premier tokens i was able to get myself 11 of, 11 of them in total finishing out last year's madden so of course with the math as you guys know these sets i decided to use 10 of them in total to get two auctionable players five each of course and then with the one token i had left over we decided to use it on the set which we have a fantasy pack of 10 players here and which one will be an nat or bnd if you guys don't know that is the new term this year for nat it is now called account bound and they just use the letters bnd instead now i was hoping to get a different player here uh, from my NAT choice so I didn't have to use him as the auctionable one but uh, I guess it is what it is because I was going to be picking up Jordan Davis regardless as well I was just hoping to have him as the auctionable one and not vice versa but Jordan Davis man I think this guy is going to be a freak in the NFL maybe not necessarily in his rookie season I think he obviously will, will have some upgrades to come but in, in due time man Jordan Davis I think is going to be an insane football player in the NFL because he's, he's just a giant man and can you see how fast that dude runs it's crazy I wish that my Ravens would have drafted him honestly I was a little salty the Eagles took him one pick right before us but uh, I think we got ourselves some good players regardless now the first one here we have for our auctionable player is going to be Tyler Linderbaum at center of course from my Baltimore Ravens if you guys didn't hear that or know by now uh, well now you know I am a Ravens fan so of course the rookie premier player for the Ravens was going to be joining my team no doubt about it I did wish that this was Kyle Hamilton but uh, as the game has been released I see they had some other plans for him as he is the core rookie master is what I believe they call it and I think he's like an 86 overall as well so eventually I'm definitely going to be having Kyle Hamilton on the team as well and last but not least the second uh, auctionable rookie premier player I decided to pick up is going to be a cornerback Kahir Elam this guy's got some very good speed man and obviously you need a lot of cornerbacks on your team so I, I thought that would just work out pretty well now I in hindsight now I kind of regret doing this a little bit because it did take some time but I did decide to go through the skills trainer at this point you guys probably shouldn't do it it's not really worth it once you finish all of them you do get a bunch of gold players get a gold players which are 70 plus overall and uh, sadly I was not very lucky as you guys can see I mean really the best thing I got out of it was a gold punter at 77 overall but I, I guess it'll still help out the team some now if you guys did see there obviously there were some other things in our unopened packs uh, in the time doing so in the skills trainer I did get my all Madden pre-order rewards here which the first thing we have is a headliners welcome pack I'm not gonna lie man I'm a little salty about this because I could have sworn when EA was doing like their good morning Madden stream or whatever you want to call it they said we were supposed to get an 82 overall for free free and we ended up getting this free 80 overall Legeria Sneed. I mean, it's still a core elite, I guess, because it's 80 overall. It's still going to help out the team to begin the year, but man, I, I was expecting something a little bit better from that pre-order reward. Now, moving on, we have a pack here, which is going to be to choose two elite players. The first round is a defensive round where we have Montez Sweat, Isaiah Simmons, and Jabril Peppers. Of course, we have to get ourselves a middle linebacker, someone to use her and run around the defense with, so I chose Simmons there. And here in the offensive round, we've got Jalen Waddle, Lamar Jackson, and DeAndre Swift. Obviously, you you guys don't even have to ask which one I chose there. Taking a look at Isaiah Simmons stats though for our middle linebacker, our user to begin the year is going to be absolutely solid, man. Sitting at six foot four, so he's got that height to be able to jump up and grab some stuff. But 83 speed on top of it is pretty solid. If you guys don't know, speed in general seems to have been lowered a little bit to begin the year, which I personally am a big fan of, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out through all the other positions and players. But obviously, like I did say, you guys know, quarterback Lamar Jackson, we, we have to have a decent QB to begin the year, man. And obviously, if they're going to offer me Lamar, for free i'm gonna snatch that up man so 83 lamar you guys can see those stats obviously even better speed at 85 the throwing stats are still pretty solid so lamar is going to be a perfect quarterback to begin the season now as for our final pre-order reward the best one of them all we've got ourselves an all madden team elite player pack a choice of an 87 overall all madden player we've got the choice of cooper cup barry sanders micah parsons and cam chancellor i'm not gonna lie to you guys uh, i was definitely having a tough choice here going back and forth deciding who would be best to bring to the team 
man, but ultimately I settled on going with wide receiver Cooper Cup, former Super Bowl MVP, as you guys know. Uh, obviously, you need a lot of receivers on your team, man. You need some weapons. At the minimum, you need three, and obviously it goes into your depth. You could use a fourth and fifth receiver, man. So I think having one big standout, a high overall to begin the year, it, it just makes sense, man. You, like I said, you, you have to have numerous wide receivers, so Cooper Cup only made sense. So moving on now, uh, as we finish with all of our pre-order rewards now, it's time to start grinding and building our team now. On top of the pre-order packs that we did get, EA also gave us 4,600 points to use in the store. Honestly, I'm not really sure what I want to use all of them for. Uh, I do think I'm going to save the majority of them for the uh, seasonal field pass rewards that come out. You know, every so often you get new store offers for certain mutt levels that you reach, and I think I'm going to save my points for those, but I did decide to try my luck on one of the weekly elite fantasy packs for 500 points, and uh, the best thing that we got out of it, the most valuable card, is going to be this 84 overall left guard, Quinton Nelson, which is fine by me. That's a solid pull, and it's uh, definitely someone that's going to help hold down that offensive line. So as we come over to the lineup now, to with everything that we've gathered, see how things are coming along so far, and our team now sits at a 75 overall. So not too bad, man. Obviously, 80 is that threshold that you really want to get to, I feel like, uh, where you know, you're at least at that, that bare minimum, that bare elite overall minimum uh, with that 80 overall. So the defense, however, is definitely screaming for help a little bit more so than the offense, man, as uh, there is a lot more holes to be filled out here with only a couple of key players that are helping things out. But obviously, that's not what we're going to stop here. Uh, continuing now with the grind as uh, I'm pretty much done with my free pre-order of rewards and everything that EA decided to give us. It's now up to me to go ahead, you know, start grinding them coins, start grinding the solo challenges. And that's exactly what I did here as uh, the first set of solo challenges, the first big set where it gives us a, a new player to the team is, of course, our team captains. You guys know this every single year in Madden. We've got ourselves four legends that come back into the game that act as our team captains that stay on the team throughout the entire year. And EA, of course, will give us those opportunities to get tokens to upgrade these guys and they'll eventually be at 99 overall. But they do start at 85 and our four choices of team captains this year, as you guys did see, were Keyshawn Johnson, Larry Sanka, Sam Adams, and Eric Allen. Now, again, to be honest with you guys, this was a tough choice for me because I truly didn't have a lot of interest in any of these guys. I didn't know which one I wanted to bring to my team. And ultimately, as you're seeing, I decided to go with Larry Sanka at fullback. I know it's not going to be the most impactful player at fullback, but it's a position we won't really have to worry about upgrading a lot throughout the season. And obviously, I do run the Ravens offense quite a bit. And there's a lot of formations which contain a fullback in there. So for me particularly, the Larry Sanka did help out as opposed to what I really thought the other three, tap three, three team captains would have done for my team. But if you guys did also see it there, I decided to use a little bit of training. I think it was only 10 training. And, uh, so then you can use the two team captain tokens that you got from the solo challenge to then upgrade it and uh, I do have my team captain card fully upgraded currently to an 88 overall so as we continued on with our grind earning more free packs here like this game day pack which uh didn't help us out too much nothing but some gold players finishing up all of these solo challenges I have available as you guys can see there I've now done the headliners group as well uh continuing to level up that field pass as we have now reached level 10 and we've got ourselves some new free rewards here with a bunch of gold players and one elite pack so that is going to be nice we at least have one guaranteed elite coming out of all this stuff here but uh, I will save you guys some time. Not going to show you all of the gold player packs being opened because, again, EA has not shown me a lot of love this year so far, man, with the free rewards and these free players not getting anything too good to help out the team to begin the year as David and Joku was really the best thing there. That 79 getting somewhat of a decent tight end to begin the year. And then we got ourselves that 82 overall headliners player out of it, which is nice at left guard. Now, since I did pull this left guard, I decided, you know what? I might as well go ahead and part with Quentin Nelson because right now he was sitting for a pretty penny at 50,000 coins. And I don't really think going down two overalls at that left guard position is going to make that big of a difference right now and uh, i'd much rather have the coins so with our now guaranteed elite pack we get ourselves another 82 overall lineman this one being at left tackle with teron armstead and we get a second elite out of this pack and it's going to be deshaun watson so a little bit of value there probably just going to sell that for some coins as i'm also sure there's probably no massage parlors around here deshaun sorry about that but uh, anyways with the other 82 overall lineman we got here with left tackle teron armstead i am perfectly happy with pulling offensive lineman man as long as i don't have to spend coins on that position give me all of the free offensive linemen man because i just i don't like having to spend the bank on those guys because they're usually pretty expensive but taking a look at how things are now coming along slowly but surely making our way there man sitting at a 78 overall squad now offense like i said definitely looks a little bit better here we got a few new elite players to join the team there but again the defense man they are just screaming for help they are just crying for it <laughs> i mean we are not getting any love over here man even the free golds that we're getting out of packs just nothing man so next episode spending some coins on the team we're definitely going to have to get more defensive players than offensive players. But now that I am done all of my solo challenges, a lot of you guys always ask me every year, how do I get so many coins? I obviously, I don't spend money on the game, whether you guys want to believe that or not. 
box but uh, I'm showing you right here my beginning method what I started with is I was buying a bunch of low core elites for at least 8,000 or under and you guys can see there they were getting snagged for 11,000 coins or more so I am currently working on the bank man that coin total is steadily rising so in the next episode man I'm going to have some funds where we can maybe go out there and uh, break the bank a little bit spend some big coins on some big players and uh, really upgrade this team here to begin the year man so if you guys have any players you would like to see me bring into the team of course don't go too crazy I'm probably not going to spend crazy amounts of coins now but if you guys have any suggestions on who you want to see on the team feel free to leave them down in the comments but anyways that is going to do it for this one you guys first episode of Madden 23 ultimate team is done man it's so good to be back like I said I hope you guys enjoyed it man if you did be sure to put a thumbs up on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and I will catch you all in the next one take it easy guys peace out